Hey, this is Nick. Welcome back for another video on this channel. And today I want to talk about this specific project that you can see on the screen right now, which is one of my FTMO trading projects. It's an actual real 100K FTMO challenge and I trade stocks. So you probably still remember this video here where I announced my FTMO success in 2024. And this video was released about one month ago. And I promised to keep you updated on the process. So this is exactly what I want to do here today. But first of all, before we have a look at the FTMO, let's have a look at what I'm actually doing. So the idea of this was to follow the most basic economic principle of increasing market value overall. So what I'm doing here is I trade a selection of stocks. Um, specifically, you can see the four stocks that are traded here on the screen. screen. It's Amazon in the upper left corner, Apple in the upper right, Tesla in the lower left, Meta in the lower right corner. And these four stocks are perfect and a perfect example for the strategy that I trade and they will, uh, that I will explain in a second because some of these markets were really going up. Like for example, have a look at the Amazon or especially the Meta and some of these stocks were really going down have a look at Tesla it's just crazy how this stock decreased in value in the last weeks so what do I do I will simply explain this in a simple example for example let us have a look at the uh, at this meta chart here and let me make this a little bit bigger the strategy is the same in every single market so I'm trading selected stock CFDs, which means that these CFDs, they kind of mirror the movement or the price development of the stock. And every single day when the market opens in the, um, in the US at 16.30, this is the server time of the FTMO, which is GMT plus two. Of course, in the US, it would be in the morning, but for FTMO, it's 16.30. So 16.30, the market opens for stock CFD trading of the US stocks. So for the first one and a half hour, I will just do nothing here. Or especially, it's not even me who is trading, but I have a automated trading strategy that does the trading for me, and it is applied to all of these four charts. So what's going on? After the market open, we're waiting 1.5 hours, so 90 minutes until it is 18 o'clock FTMO server time. So one and a half hour after market opening, we do exactly nothing. All we do is create this range, which is blue here for Meta, and we are just taking the highest and the lowest price of this opening range, and we save it in the memory of our automated trading strategy. Once we reach the 18 o'clock, then we will place buy stop orders uh, or one buy stop order at the upper end of this range. So actually, we do not even need the whole range. We just need the upper level because, and this is really important, we are only going long. And I will explain why when we have a look at the Tesla chart. And here you can see, for example, on the 1st February 2024, when I record this video, um, or I recorded one day after this, but you know what I mean. We did not have a long breakout, so there was no trade. So let's have a look at the previous day. And on the previous day, the strategy did exactly the same. First one and a half hours, we are just creating the range. Highest point, lowest point. We take the highest point and we place the order. And this order was executed about one hour later here, or uh, is it two hours later? And now it's one hour later, then this order was executed, had a little bit of slippage here, but not too much. And then we just hold this position until the end of the day or more specific until 2020, um, uh, 22 um, p.m. or which is like 10 p.m. server time. Again, FTMO is GMT plus two. And the stop loss for this trade is at the lower end of the range. And this is what we do every single day. So if you have a look at some more trades here, no breakout, no trade here, breakout, trade, profit generated. And then the day before this range, breakout, profit. 
than the day before this. No breakout, no trade. And on this day, we had a breakout, but we generated a loss. So you can see we do not win every single day. Of course we don't, because it would be money printing, but on average, we do have a really good chance to win. So this is what we would see when we have a look at the FTMO overview. But first of all, let me show the other example, which is Tesla. So for Tesla, let's have a look at the last trades. So the strategy is always the same in all of these markets. So we can see, for example, here for the last day, which was the 1st February, uh, 2024 no breakout no trade the previous day breakout profit the previous day no trade the previous day breakout profit and yeah this was a really small profit but still a profit then here no trade no trade no trade no trade and this is what i wanted to achieve with this strategy so you can see in this whole period where tesla was just dropping and falling like a stone we did not trade so we did not make any losses here because we just didn't trade we only trade long and this is the whole idea of the strategy in this account and then here where tesla was not that or like on this day we had a profit even on this day we generated a small loss but overall on this downwards period we did not create too many losses and then here when tesla was not only going down we had some more trades of course it was not like uh, these were not the best trades and actually tesla was losing in the period where i traded this but overall you can see there the the, the stock price was decreasing like crazy lost like i don't know 20% and if we have a look at the FTMO in a second we will see that most of these losses were not taken or not traded by the EA and yeah we will skip Amazon and Apple we will have some profits and some losses here but let's now have a look at the FTMO because since this is a real challenge that I paid for we have this FTMO metrics and you can see the whole performance here and actually right now I'm really really satisfied with how this is all going this is exactly what I wanted to see not too many strong moves in the equity kind of balance and I hope for a long-term increasing value in this account so also, let's have a look at some of the key figures here. So right now, the count is in profit by about 2K, not at all, as I mean, not really 2K, but 1.8 something, so really close. And the uh, trading objectives are here. We are trading for 28 days now. I'm not going too much risk. I'm just risking 0.75% on every single trade. So this is why we are trading for many days already, and we do not see the strong fluctuation in the equity curve. Um, yeah, maximum loss and daily loss are, of course, not even violated um, uh, at all because we're just not risking too much and profit target is of course also not reached but we are going into the right direction with this account so let's have a look at some statistics we see average profit per trade is 288 average loss is also 285 but we should win more trades than we lose and this is what we can see here we have 56 trades in total and the average risk reward calculated by ftmo is 1.0 one so this is the realized risk reward ratio in fact the risk reward risk reward ratio is a lot higher because we do not have a tp so we can generate yeah five or ten hour on a really good day compared to the risk but yeah this will need of course a really big pump uh, for the stock markets and then for every trade we can expect right now 30 us dollar profit profit factor is really really good with 1.25 and now let's head down we will not talk about the uh, single trades here because it doesn't make sense but let's have a look at this we will see most trades are of course opened in the um, 19 uh, o'clock which is like 7 p.m hour because this is when the range is created and this is when we generate most of the profits when we go in too late we can see here it's not really that good but this might only be a coincidence because it's only like um, 30 days that I trade this account and then we have a 100 percent buy trade ratio because we do not sell so 
let's have a look at the symbols now. And here, this is maybe the most important and most interesting metric here in the metrics overview of FTMO. We see that Amazon is simply doing great. And if we have a look here, we can see Amazon stock was going up for the last week. So of course, we are generating profits with this EA. No, Apple also doing great. If we have a look at the chart, Apple was also going up, but not only. And this is really interesting. Even though Apple was like on general, like when I started trading Apple, it was as a, at a higher price than it is now. So this is really interesting that the expert it was, I was still able to make a profit with this strategy, even if the overall stock price was decreasing in value in the period that I trade is this. So this is a really good point that speaks for the strategy. And now really interesting, Tesla, which was really losing so much value, the stock. But if we have a look at the FTMO, yes, I mean, we generated a loss, but it's not that big. And this is a really good news for this trading strategy in this account. And then last but not least, Meta. And this is also interesting because Meta, like the stock price was going up like crazy. But yeah, unfortunately, the strategy was not, not able to generate um, yeah, all of the profits that the um, stock made here overall, while the stock made a profit of like 25%. Yeah, I calculated in my in my mind, maybe a little bit more even, the, um, the, 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 the trading bot only generated not that much profit. But I mean, a profit is a profit, so I will not be sad here. So this is the overview for my stock trading success <laughs> project that I trade in this FTMO account. Hope you like this, this little overview. I will keep you updated on the channel. Let me know in the comments what you think. Also, really interest, uh, important, if you appreciate the content like this, if you like that I will publish all of my project 100% transparent, and if you want to follow along, make sure to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up so more people will see it. In the end, there's nothing more to say than thanks for watching, have a great time, and good trades. I'm out. Bye.